Hey guys, so in this video I will be showing you how to use Excel's future value function to calculate the future value of your investment. I will also be um, using showing you how to use Excel's goal seek function to help you achieve a target, a certain target value which you want your investment to hit in the future by changing certain parameters within your investment. So to start off with, I will show you how to calculate the future value, how to use Excel's FB future value function. So to begin, we have got the interest rate, which is 5%, that's an annual interest rate. The number of periods over which the investment will accrue is 10 years. The periodic deposit amount um, tells us how much we will deposit each period, i.e. at the end of each year. The initial deposit tells us how much money we will put down at the start of the investment, i.e. right now at the beginning. And the payment type effectively, we have two choices between do we invest our periodic investments at the end of each period or do we invest it at the start? If it's at the end, we put a zero because that's the, we've got two choices within Excel's FP function, zero for investments at the end of each period and one for investments at the start. We're assuming that we will be investing at the end of each period. Therefore, in order to calculate the future value, we need to use Excel's FB function. So we type in equals FB, and then the first parameter that Excel is asking us for is the interest rate, which in this case is 5%. The next parameter is the number of periods over which we will be investing, which in this case is 10 years. What you must notice here is that because both the in interest rate and the number of periods relate to an annual time period, there's no need to make any adjustments to the interest rate. However, say for instance, the uh, we would be making monthly periodic investments, then we would have to get the effective monthly interest rate. So in order to do that, we would have to divide the annual interest rate by 12 to get the monthly and we have to do the same similar calculations so if you want say a quarterly interest rate because you're investing your money quarterly then you would have to divide it by four to get the quarterly interest rate so because you know where the interest rate is annual and we're investing annually we can keep the interest rate at five percent the number of periods is 10 because we're investing over 10 years and we'll be making 10 separate investments. So what's the value of each separate investment that we make at the end of each period? That's £1,000. What you must notice is very important that the PMT uh, parameter within the F value function is essentially a cash flow item. So the direction of cash flow is important. Because in this case, we are investing money out of our own pockets and putting it into an investment fund, it, it essentially represents a cash outflow. So it has to be a negative because we are taking money out of our own pockets and investing it. So we have to put an, a minus sign and then we select the cell containing the periodic deposit amount. PV, that essentially represents the value of your initial deposit, how much you're putting forth at the beginning of your investment. So we're initially depositing 10,000. Again, the cash flow matters because we are depositing 10,000 pounds out of our own pockets. It's essentially a cash outflow. So it needs, again, there's to be a negative sign in front of the 10,000. So we put minus and then we select the cell containing 10,000. And because we are investing at the end of each period, it will be zero. We close parentheses, enter, and there we have it, the value, the future value of our investment is £28,866.84. The next thing I want to show you is that, say for instance, you have a certain target value of £35,000. And say, we know the interest rate will be fixed at 5%, so you can't control that. The number of periods again will be fixed at 10. And say also the initial deposit amount is £10,000, that's fixed too. So the only parameter, say, that you can vary is your periodic um, deposit amount as an example so at what at how much would you have to invest each year in order to achieve your target value of 35 percent given that the interest rate is 35,000 pounds sorry given that the interest rate is five percent number of periods of investment is 10 years and the initial deposit is 10,000 
pounds. Well, in order to do that, we can use Excel's Goal Seek function. So you go to Data, um, you select your, you select What If Analysis that button, and then you go to Goal Seek. So Goal Seek that function asks for three essential input values. The first one is set cell. So this one you have to refer to the cell which can, which contains the formula which will generate the future value amount, which in this case is cell B7. That's got the formula which generates your future value. And your target is 35,000. So you want to set that value to 35,000 pounds. And by changing the cell, it essentially refers to the variable input in your formula. And because we want to vary the periodic deposit amount, we select cell B3 and we click OK. And there we have it. Excel's found a solution. The Goal Seek has found a solution. We click OK. If we invest £1,487.61 at the end of each year, given the other parameters are fixed, we will we will achieve our future value of thirty five thousand pounds.